Hello everybody and thank you to join us uh, this early in the morning. Today we have a very, very, very special guest, Mr. Mr. Mitsuhiro Arita. Uh, so as a first question, let's begin like very simply. Uh, how are you doing and can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Uh, thank you for inviting me to this wonderful event. I'm thrilled to share my experience and insights with you today. Uh, as an introduction, uh, I want to show you the image uh, of the my pr previous work uh, instead of the my introduction. Uh, this is my name and my uh, social media accounts and homepage address. And I also now I have uh, the uh, online store as well. So please check out my uh, some of that. Uh, you can get the. Uh, link for the my online store or more. Uh, this is uh, my name in kanji. Uh, the combination of my name uh, Mitsuhiro is uh, very rare. So until today, I've never seen the person who has the exactly the same name. So that that is very good to me because uh, nowadays uh, people. Uh, Googling on the internet, so my name is rare, so uh, people can uh, contact uh, link contact to my SNS or homepage directly. That is good to me. Uh, but by the way, that is my legal name, my real name. <clears throat> uh, I started working on Pokemon uh, from the beginning, uh, before the uh, prototype stage. And I had been working on that for 20, almost 28 years. And I drew more than 600 illustrations for that. And I worked on uh, for the Japanese version and the international version of the packages and the uh, original merchandises for the Pokemon Center. I also worked on uh, the theatrical movie Berserk the Golden Ages arc uh, trilogy. I worked as a concept artist and I also did the layout of the poster, at least for the Japanese version. I drew these illustrations uh, for the reference of the setting for the art team. I also worked on the uh, illustration for the novel for the children. <clears throat> Uh, the original title of this is the Guardians of Gahul, that is a American novel, and it was it was the original story for the uh, 3D animation movie uh, directed by Zack Snyder. He is famous as a director for the 300, and it was. 2010, maybe, uh, <clears throat> the Warner Brothers uh, released that. And I also worked on, uh, what was that? Uh, Urbs of the Beyond. Uh, this is a spin out series from the Guardians of Gafu. I also worked on uh, Shark Wars. This is also the American movie. Uh, no, no, American novel. And I also worked on uh, the consumer game uh, concept that has uh, more than 20 years of history and they're uh, quite big fun, but not so famous. But I like this game before I started my career as a professional artist. I also worked on uh, data cards that's uh, Kamen Rider Battle Gamba Ride. Uh, Kamen Rider is 
the part of the rangers, power rangers, maybe in in the west, uh, that is a part of the Power Rangers TV series. And I worked on key visual and card illustration for this series. I also worked for Final Fantasy series. Uh, I mainly worked with, worked on Final Fantasy XI, especially uh, to draw the illustration for the official site. I also worked on Final Fantasy XIV to design the guild rib, uh, that is a card uh, when you get the get from the guild uh, when you get the mission from them. I worked for them more than uh, 13, 14 years. And surprisingly, they are still uh, keep doing uh, on the service. They turned, uh, the Final Fantasy turned to the 20, 20 years. And uh, this is an uh, illustration for Rust Chronicle, that is a uh, card game, but only released in Japan. And this is an unusual uh, job to me, but I designed the uh, for the logo, logo mark. And I, I made this with 3D graphics software. And some of the illustration for books and magazines. Uh, this is a uh, artwork for the variable cover. A variant cover for the American comics Alien Defiance, uh, but that was a Japanese version. And I also draw historical character in the old Japanese samurai. Yeah, that's it. Thank you for the presentation. Yeah, so, thank you. So let's start. What inspired you to become an illustrator? Do you remember the exact moment you have made that choice? And why not any other form of art? Uh, for answer to the part of why not other art form? Because I don't have the ability except drawing. Uh, well, let's talk about why I become an illustrator. I become an illustrator because I don't let myself make excuse for my life. Please forgive me if this is a bit wrong. Uh, my childhood dream was become a scientist or an astronaut. I've been doodling since I can remember. Uh, and at first I drew pictures of dinosaurs. When I entered elementary school, I drew mechanical and the character drawings of anime that were popular at that time as my hobby. Around that time, I entered junior high school. It was still expensive, but personal computer appears on the, appeared on the consumer market. My elder sister and I helped with chores like washing dishes and cleaning the bathroom to earn a computer from my parents. After I got my first computer, programming and playing games became my hobby. 
and I went to university to study engineering with the uh, intention of becoming a software engineer. During my childhood, I lived in uh, I lived in Tokai region, where Toyota is famous for its automobiles. My father, who had been an employee all his life, left his position the year I entered the university and started a single-person company selling and installing industrial oil and current facilities. His main customers were Toyota-affiliated companies. When I turned in third year of university, my friends asked me what I was going to do after graduation. He asked me how it is to work with his, uh, with him since his company was doing well. I thought to myself, it would be good care of my parents. However, I thought that if the business was not going well when my father retired in the future, I would certainly excuse myself saying that it was not something I wanted to do. It wouldn't be good for anyone if my, if my life turned out that way. So I, I decided to, to try to see what I could do on my own while I was young. And if that didn't work out, I would be willing to help my father with his work. What inspired you to become an illustrator? And do you remember the exact moment when you have made that choice? And why, why not uh, any other form of art? If it's a job required to be trained by someone else, then if it doesn't work out, I, can't, I can excuse it by saying that the person who teaches me is not good enough. It, make, uh, it makes no sense unless it is a choice that is 100% my responsibility and there is no way out. Here the idea of becoming an illustrator comes out. It's not needed to run from somewhere else and I don't need to get a license. That is why, uh, that is why I choose to become an illustrator. My goal wasn't to succeed as an illustrator, but to test 100% of my potential. How do you approach creating illustration, especially for cards, compared to other mediums? Uh, I think there are three elements, size, quality, and playability. In printed work, I draw illustrations to look the best for the size of the main purpose to overuse. Card illustrations are a small size in work for printed products, but they must be a, a, they must be of a quality that can be established as a single picture. At the same time, if it is a card for game, it is necessary to consider the visibility of the card from the perspective of the player facing it. The most important thing to consider in response to this requirement is understandability. I think it is not good uh, to draw a picture that makes it difficult for the player to decide what is uh, what it depicts. How do you typically approach a new project or commission? Could you walk us through your creative process from an idea until the finished uh, illustration? Uh, at first, I interview the client until I get the idea to draw, then do research. I usually try not to see other artwork because uh, there is a risk of being influenced too much without intention. I mainly research real things and old paintings and artifacts. Then I draw a draft and get permission from the client. Then I usually draw a pencil drawing then scan it and paint it on computer. Uh, this is one example of my uh, draft drawing. I draw something like this. Uh, I, I tried uh, many ideas uh, until I get uh, the confident it is okay.
Then I drew the pencil drawing on the card paper like this. And on the final stage of the pencil drawing, I added some highlight with the uh, white colored pencil and scan it to the computer. And I divided the, I split the line information uh, with the pencil and highlight information with the white, uh, white color pencil and the highlight with the gouache. Then I make the uh, mask for the region of the each colors. Then I get the image like this <clears throat> after I uh, tweak the adjust the color <clears throat> with a tone curve and something. Then I paint with a uh, painting software called Painter. Uh, that is not famous today, but I've been I've been using this from the very beginning of my career for twenty almost twenty eight years. How do you approach uh, the creative process when designing character or creature from your artwork? Um, how do you approach capturing the essence and personality of each one of the character in your illustrations? As a professional worker, it is all about uh, responding to the client needs. That's it. But it's too short, so let me talk about my personal project. In recent years, I have been invited to many international events, and I have started to create articles called uh, based on my original universe. Uh, yeah, this is the uh, art card. It is an um, illustration of combination of figure and creature uh, like Beauty and the Beast. These are exclusive to, to each event I attend. There is 100%, uh, this is 100% personal project, so I have the freedom of creation. For this series, uh, it is important to me that the creature's size looks like it could be able to ride, and that the saddle, harness, and equipment carried by the creature is looks realistic. Since my goal is only to create a single illustration, I think about parts and balance to create an interesting silhouette uh, suitable for the final picture. Uh, uh, for example, the horns of him, and uh, his fins. Uh, I, I tried with these parts to add the interesting silhouette for the final illustration. Then add a sense of detail and reality by referring to the real animal in the final product. That's how it goes. Uh, personally, I believe that there are two types of designs. Those uh, focus on the visual, like fashion items. Sometimes these kinds of designs ignore uh, practical functions. On the other hand, there is a design method based on the functions or background and is created through a series of necessaries, uh, necessities. I prefer this method because expressing the character's essential uh, essence and uh, personality requires the feeling everything is connected to the world in which they live. What, uh, what role does uh, storytelling play in your artwork? Uh, for example, if there is information on the char uh, creature's ec ecology or on the character's personality, and the background, I can use the information to imagine the character's facial expressions and movements. And I can also think of background environments to, uh, that fit the atmosphere of the character. Everything from the use of color and writing to that way the picture is painting is considered and selected for what the final picture should express.
Uh, as an example, let me show you the illustrations uh, for a novel for children I recently working on. The story begins when ordinary elementary school students pick up a pair of sunglasses that allows them to see fantastic beasts. I tried to design the characters in a child-friendly style. Uh, you can understand what I say. Uh, the direction of the design of the character is totally different from the, these illustrations. A more anime or manga-like style I choose. <clears throat> the style of color illustration and the uses of the color colors were also made to be child friendly uh, like this. Uh, this more more bright and colorful and uh, more like uh, anime or manga. The editor of the book aimed to convey to children through this novel the true nature of the fantastic beasts which are far removed from the original stories in, the, in today's Japanese, uh, today's games and other media. So I used pencil drawing for the interior illustration to express a slightly different atmosphere uh, from the other books in today's Japanese market. Uh, I did the interior illustration with pencil drawing. In these illustrations, the fantastic beasts drawn in a slightly comical expression so that their emotions are expression and expressions can be easy conveyed. Uh, like this. Uh, from the facial expression, uh, you can feel that he he has a he has a will uh, like ours. Uh, but in the each chapter's end is a color illustrated guide to fantastic beasts. Uh, so he is a Pegasus, but uh, for the interior the interior illustration, but. He is also Pegasus for the uh, illustrated guide pages, a more realistic style. And I tried to express the images depicted in actual myth and folklore, including the atmosphere of cultural sphere in which the mythology was passed down. Uh, I tried to change the style of the uh, painting like this. Uh, this is Kappa from the Japanese folklore and Kerberos from Greek mythology and Saramanda. Saramanda was from, uh, uh, I don't know how to say in English. <clears throat> And I painted a full page illustration on illustration board using legacy art medium. Uh, I'm talking about the, these illustrations. And on the other hand, the illustrations that accompany with a text are drawn in a cartoonish, easier to understand style and expression, avoiding complicated pictures because of their small size. Uh, I'm talking about the illustration like this. Yeah, I drew the illustration for Quorum texts like this. <clears throat> I drew these, these with digital using simple brushes. In this way, I tried to convey to the reader uh, what the publisher wanted to convey. I tried to fulfill the requirements for this novel like this. Uh, I also draw the uh, map of the main setting of this story. How do you balance between appealing to younger audiences and engaging older fans through your illustration over the years? 
uh, the client decides which age group to target. So I only think about providing illustrations that fit the work to the best of my ability. <clears throat> uh, I already talked about the difference for the uh, child-friendly style and uh, my user style. My user style is more, uh, more for the uh, older friends. However, if I only work on projects for the younger audience, some clients underestimate my art skills. That's why I've been trying to work on high fantasy titles like Final Fantasy and Berserk. And I have also worked on historical illustrations for books and magazines. Uh, historic, historical uh, illustration is looks like this. Uh, th th these kind of illustrations is, are uh, obviously for the older fans. Can you share a particularly challenging project as a team leader you've worked on? And how did you overcome this obstacle? I've been a freelancer from the beginning of my career, so I've never been in the position of a team leader. I'm often left to make decisions regarding my own productions. In this case, the work is not complicated because both the team leader and the team and the team are me. The difficulty is when I don't get along with the person in charge. In this case, I will discuss with the client and ask them to change the person in charge or to remove me from the project. Uh, because of that, the most important thing is to make people happy with the final product. None of the audience cares about how individuals are evaluated by the company or if they lose their position. I know that and thus I'm not concerned about my position. Uh, if I conclude that leaving the project is the best course of action, I will do it. I will just do that. How do you perceive the distinct role and responsibility from an illustrator compared to mangaka or uh, painters? My answer is while mangaka and painters have great creative freedom and over uh, ownership of their work, a uh, commercial illustrator uh, operates within a narrow, more uh, collaborative context aimed to meet client needs and the expectation. <clears throat> Can you discuss a little bit about the key skills or technique that differentiate uh, those three creative roles? I think for the, uh, mangaka, the most important skill is the ability to create the stories. Uh, the storytelling is central to their role as it drives the narrative and engages the audience in the manga. For a painter, the essential skill lies in determining what type of art work to create. Focusing on the uh, art's vision, theme, and emotional impact. As a commercial illustrator like myself, the key ability is understanding and responding to client requests accurately. Uh, this involves artistic talent and a keen senses, a sense of interpretation and communicating to ensure that the artwork aligns perfectly with the client's needs and objectives before beginning the creative process. Um, what specific milestone or achievement would you make your dream as an artist feel fulfilled? When I started this profession, my initial goal was to reach a point where at least one person would come forward and say that my artwork had a significant impact on their life. My current personal uh, objective is to maintain my freedom, not, uh, not to be tied down by somebody and to sustain my living through 
this work until I retire. Are there any favorite moments or milestones in your career? Before starting my professional career, I had been a big fan of a consumer game called Cardcept. Uh, that is, I uh, already show you in the beginning. It was my dream to work on this project and it was come true. It was my milestone. You can purchase the art book in my online store. Can you describe your typical workflow uh, and schedule as a freelance artist? As a freelance artist, sometimes you get too many jobs, but sometimes you can't get any job for months. So I don't have a typical workflow and schedule, just adjust to the situation and do my best. Are you familiar with uh, Yohozuya, uh, the freelancer in the manga and anime Gintama? Uh, what do you make of their life as a freelancer if you know that? Uh, unfortunately, I don't know because I've never read it. Can you recall a time you've had a Star Trek moment meeting or working with someone in the industry? Although I didn't work with him, I was thrilled to talk with Shinji Kimura, the art director of the animation film Tekon King Creed and Steam Boy, while he showed me his paintings. It was hard to believe that they were just backgrounds for an anime that was only shown for the few minutes, few seconds. They should be exhibit, uh, exhibited in a museum for the next generation, I think. How do you perceive the role of pop culture icon in presenting modern Japanese culture globally? Uh, I believe that the uh, I believe that Japanese manga and anime have grown because of the reality that it is difficult to succeed in the international market even if we produce Japanese language film with Japanese cast. I think it is fair to say that Japanese manga and anime have shown the world how entertainment can be beyond race and culture in by incorporating all art forms, including painting, literature, and music, and by developing their own unique style by incorporating all kinds of subjects from everyday life to fantasy, politics, cuisine, history, and more. Have you noticed any shift or changing in how Japanese art is perceived and or value uh, internationally? I think the fact that I'm being invited to such an international meeting proves that Japanese art is internationally recognized and appreciated. Do you often visit museums and can you share any artist or illustrator uh, whose work have you recently like or found inspiring? I try to visit museums when I visit other countries. It is interesting to see in real life work of art that I have only seen in books or images. And the colors and sizes are completely different from what I imagined. I also like museums about the ethnology, history, military, science, and biology. My favorite artists lately are those I met in France. When I see their paintings, I think I need to practice more. As for Japanese artists, I like Hokusai. He is all time best to me. What role does fan feedback play in your creative process? As a freelancer who only takes commission job from the company is always exposed to the risk of losing its value and position in the market. However, I suddenly had free time during the pandemic. So I started the pra practice as a YouTuber. Then people asked me how they could purchase it. So I decided to open my online store. Today, people are buying my original artwork and products directly from there, and it is helped me a lot. 
It gave me creative freedom more than before. I'm deeply thankful to the fans who supported support me directly. Can you discuss any unexpected or surprising moment that you've uh, occurred while meeting fans at convention? Um, he was not a fan, but I got in the car with one guy when I attended the Paris Manga this year. Usually other guests come with their manager and talk to each other. So I hesitated to get into the conversation. But that morning, his manager was left at the hotel for some reason. So I introduced myself to him. Surprisingly, he was a scientist, author, and actor who worked with the Guillermo del Toro. Uh, he's a director of the Hellboy. Uh, first Hellboy and the second Hellboy. And he asked me why I become an artist. And uh, then I explained the story as I did at the beginning of this meeting. Then he was interested in the story that I do programming because he also does the program as a scientist. It was my surprising moment. At the end of the day, he said he called him son and boasted to him about to meet me. Would you have a few words to share with students or young people who are launching into work life with big dreams? Motivational. Uh, I don't know if this is motivational, but uh, most, most, most important thing I want to say is uh, to me, at least to me, the best decision in my life wasn't choosing to become an illustrator, but rather deciding not to make excuses for the choices uh, I've made in life. So now we will have our first question uh, from Elias. Elias. So, yes, um, just have a, a question. So for your YouTube channel, have you ever thought about creating videos in collaboration with musicians? Uh, I, I don't know how it works, but <laughs> yeah, I can discuss about that if I have a, an opportunity to, to do that. Okay, uh, now we have uh, Bonapapé Kiziko. Ah, Kiziko. Uh, should I? Uh, oh, yeah, it's all I, uh, on work. So, but I can. Yeah, yeah. With the evolution of the technology, uh, how does uh -huh. it impact your work? Uh, I don't know. That could be the. That would be the big impact for the younger generation. Uh, but to me, uh, I already quite well known for the people all over the world, and I'm I'm shifting to to focusing to the making the original artwork and uh, sell my products directly from me. So it couldn't be uh, not so big impact to me, but. Uh, uh, I don't know how how big the impact is for the younger generation. Yeah, be, because for our generation, uh, we have a lot of job uh, that is not so much important, but the client's needs. But if the clients make the not so much important illustrations with AI or something, uh, the younger generation will lost the chance to get the job from the clients. Uh, his next question is, when you get in a new project, do you look yeah. at what you've done? I don't prefer to see the other people's work for the same project because I believe I um, I believe the clients don't need the 
very similar <laughs> illustrators for their project. <coughs> Uh, do you think about working uh, in the U.S.? Yeah, uh, actually, uh, recently I'm getting the uh, commercial job, uh, commercial commission job uh, from the U U.S. based uh, companies. Uh, what is more fun, uh, illustrating from ID? like you've done in your previous work when you have to create everything new or uh, like in your novel based on a story or something already like write or scripted? I prefer to work for the based on something made by another people. Uh, is it important as an artist when you are practicing to just stretch or go or do the whole uh, drawing? Yeah, uh, I will show you my sketchbook. These are uh, illustration. No, no, uh, my my sketch on the sketchbook. I usually bring and. At least to me, the sketching was very good to me. Uh, I almost developed my my ability uh, only only doing the sketch. And uh, if you don't have the good uh, good ability to build up the image, uh, it it doesn't mean the if you have the uh, ability to finish the perfect illustration. If you have the ability to to make the perfect illustration, well, that is just a skill. Uh, the most important point is the imagination, I believe. So the so to me, uh, the doodling and sketching is very good uh, practice to me. I usually bring my watercolor tool like this. Uh, this is my watercolor tool set. And I usually bring the a small watercolor sketchbook with this and uh, one water brush. And I can paint anytime, anywhere, anywhere. Uh, because I don't have the uh, I didn't have the time uh, to do practice when I I'm at home, so I try to develop the way to to do practice when I go out. I I'm being out, and or I'm 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 on the train or something. Does anyone? ever recognize you uh, on the streets? Uh, only in a few times, but I don't know. Uh, maybe people doesn't, uh, doesn't say something to me, even if they realize me. When I went to France, uh, some people spotted me on the street and waved, <laughs> waved to me. <laughs> I was surprised. <laughs> And Jocelyn say, oh, can wait to see you in your next event in Germany. <laughs> yeah, I, I will go to Germany next to, next month. Next month, great. And uh, I think it's maybe now important to say that uh, you have you used to have two sketchbook available uh, on the website. Uh, I try to see, but one of them is obviously sold out. But the next one, the second one of your sketchbook uh, is still available. Yeah. And it's only uh, 20, 20 euros or 30. And so it's pretty yeah, like that. And in one of them, I've seen that sometimes you are signing them. So maybe it's yeah. a good thing that uh, before Christmas to, to think. 
but uh, we'll share uh, the link be uh, below the videos and everything. And once again, thank you for your time. Thank, thank you so much. Have a great day. Oh, I, I have a nice evening. I'm so sorry. And yeah. You too. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Bye bye.